In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can correctly associate and correct the association between ICD codes and CPT codes. Depending on what you order, you may be getting some messages from your biller indicating that the diagnosis you're using to order a lab or an x-ray or a medication is not the correct one. If these incorrect associations, especially labs and x-rays, get sent off to the insurance companies, they will get denied, and then it will take more time and effort and resources to rebuild them rather than doing it correctly in the first place. So in this video, you can see a progress note of a patient who is a fairly typical internal medicine patient. I've got 10 diagnoses on there, and I've already gone ahead and I've ordered about seven labs and about 10 or 11 medications here as well. And you can see that they are all ordered under hypercholesterolemia. This is easy enough to happen uh, inadvertently. So we'll go to the treatment window, and often what happens is I may have multiple diagnoses. In this case, the diagnoses from top to bottom here correspond with the tabs left to right here. The first one is always selected, and if I've got several selected and I just go to my lab order screen, then I can start typing away and adding more things in here, realizing that they're all checked and associated with hypercholesterolemia. The better way would be if I wanted to order another test then I need to check the different diagnosis. And then in this case, we'll say the urinary bladder calculus once I've selected the correct uh, diagnosis, then I can go ahead and add what I want and it's associated correctly. Notice in the order screen down here, you can see everything that's been ordered. You can see what's ordered and what it's associated with. In this case, the lipid panel and hypercholesterolemia is correct, but the BNP or the ESR or the O-bands certainly aren't. If we go to the bottom, we can see the urine culture that I ordered is correctly associated with the bladder calculus, so that's right. I could go ahead and correct all of these from this screen if I want. The way I do that is, let's suppose I want to fix the BNP order. I would hover over this box that says click for details, and when I do it, you can see the BNP is currently connected with hypercholesterolemia. I want it with sleep apnea. And then I could click the next button, and now the BMP well, I want that connected with hypertension. Notice I can have multiple diagnoses for labs and diagnostic imaging, but you can't for medications. They can only be connected to one diagnosis. Now, I could click through all the rest of them this way. It's tedious, but I could do it. Uh, the process is the same for diagnostic imaging or procedures. The window would look the same. Correction process is the same. However, for medications, there isn't this option. There's not a screen which lets you go ahead and see all the medications and reconnect them. Instead, if I decided this triamcinolone and this tecfidera were incorrect for hypercholesterolemia, I would have to highlight them, remove them, click on the right tab, and then go re-add them. That's really tedious, and I don't want to do that. So eClinicalWorks has given us a window which will let you fix all of this in one screen. Go to the top of the progress note. This is the same in executable or browser, and click the orders tab. Now when this opens, it's going to show the orders and what they look like currently with regards to the associations uh, with the diagnoses that you have chosen. You can see here on hypercholesterolemia, all of these meds and labs ordered. You can see down here the sleep apnea and the hypertension are correct because we did fix those two in the, in the screen, but we didn't fix the rest of them. There's the urine culture we did order correctly. Instead, we want to go to this button called order details. When you click that, an additional order detail screen pops up. It goes to lab instruction, which are laboratory specific bits of information. Uh, you don't need to worry about these for our purposes here. What we want is ICD order mapping. And it shows all of the meds and labs and studies that I've ordered. Now, because there's a lot, they don't fit. So I can go ahead and drag the screen over. It shows me all the diagnoses. It doesn't quite show all of the orders, which is unfortunate, but you still get most of it. So here you can see the meds, so atorvastatins, that's correct, but lisinopril, I want that with hypertension, triamcinolone, I want that with psoriasis, tecfidera, I want that with multiple sclerosis, and you can see as I check one, it moves it from there to another, so the meloxicam will uncheck when I assign it to knee arthritis, there's our Adderall, there's our Advir. Now we're done with the medications and they're associated correctly. And by the way, you can do this on your note even after you've e-prescribed the medications. You can still go 
reconnect them and it will show up correctly on your note. Now on labs, you can have multiple diagnoses here. So with the lipid profile, that one's correct. BMP, I decided I want to order that for cholesterolemia and hypertension, that's correct. But the ESR, I've decided I want to order it for psoriasis. But if I uncheck it, it gets upset. It wants to have at least one check. So you have to go check the one that you want and then uncheck it. Sorry, I can't get around that. The oligoclonal bands on the multiple sclerosis. I'll uncheck it here. The B12 and folate will do for the depression. The TSH for the depression. The ionized calcium, let's do that for the urinary calculus. And the hyperhysinophilia will do that for some asthma. And, oops, I missed it. There we go for the asthma. BTH will do for the bladder calculus. And the rheumatoid factor will do for psoriasis. And I'm going to hit save. And when we go back to the progress note, you can now see, here's our diagnoses again, but now they're all associated correctly. This will save you from billing delays or getting emails and messages from your billers to do this correctly. If you have any questions on this, let me know and appreciate you watching.